blasting off out of San Diego, Hell's House Band, Rocket from the Crypt! When you fucking leave your house and you leave your, your San Diego life, you have to like build in a sense of purpose. That's what it's all about, Roger Lickard, all the room, making no way. So it became like, you know, the Wooly Loman going door to door. We did a free tour. We did 180 shows for free. It was so fucking cool. And it became like the televangelist, come down here, I will heal you. We ended up selling all of our equipment just to, to cover the losses when we got back. I'll heal you with my rock and roll. But really, what was actually happening was it was like, do you want to be my friend? <laughs> We want to feel a connection here to someone. Does anyone like this shit? Welcome to San Diego! And there's some punchy people down there. Pop! It's a really punchy town. Ah, ah. San Diego's a military town. There were no guidelines. We're all fucked in the city. Really, these kids made their own culture. This is something we can do. We can own this. You'd go to those shows, and it would be like half the people in the audience are people from other bands. You go to a show in San Diego, and there were like four different bands that sounded completely different from one another. One guy's naked with his dick in the air, and then you have some guy that looks like Spock, and then you have these little kids that are singing about dicks with sideways hats. They're kind of like, well, what the fuck? What is this place? I wanted songs that have this weight, you know, and it's important. Pick up an instrument you never played before, and you're a musician. <laughs> like, we could just come up here and, you know, skronk around. And hey, it works. Instead of pay for the show, get in free, maybe get a few drinks. It totally worked. My name's John Peel. I'm phoning from uh, London to talk to him yeah. about uh, Truman's Water. A miniature come from what many consider to be the next fertile alternative music scene, San Diego, California. People were saying like, oh yeah, San Diego's the next Seattle, and I'm like, that could be a bad thing. Major labels throwing money at people. At one point, everybody had a record deal. You're seeing your buddies standing in front of billowing curtains in slow motion and, you know, stuff like that. It corrupts. We all kind of laughed our way, you know, in a sense, to the bank. <laughs> I just wrote a song called We Fuck Sheep. I mean, I'm supposed to wear a fucking tie to work? I mean, come on, somebody help me here. If you could take every major label exec to a crash worship show, it would fuck up their world. I wanted to make people come over to my side. I didn't want to go over to somebody else's side. <laughs> 